Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Hola, como estas? Hey, Yankees fans, this is going to be a straight shooting video, okay? If you get easily triggered by, let's say, criticism of the Yankees, then X out. So, Yankees fans, I know the Yankees are dealing with injuries, okay? Today was pretty much an exception. But let's be honest here, folks. The Yankees haven't been playing to, let's say, expectations. We all thought, or a lot of people thought, the Yankees were going to be dominant right out of the gate. I said, hey, stop sleeping on the Red Sox. They got a good rotation. They're a pesky team. A lot of people like to say they have a depleted farm system. But people are forgetting that the Red Sox are the highest paid payroll in Major League Baseball. So, folks, I don't want to hear Yankees fans sleep on the Red Sox. They are a threat. Literally, they have the highest paid payroll in Major League Baseball. I mean, really, you can't sleep on that. Even though they have a depleted farm system, they still have the highest payroll, meaning that they want to buy a championship, meaning that their team might not be that bad, folks. So stop sleeping on the Red Sox. This is a problem we had talking about this this offseason. Now the Yankees have a target on their backs. They were the team to beat. Now the teams are coming to Yankee Stadium, the Yankees are hitting the road, and teams want to beat the Yankees. And in my opinion, the Yankees just upgraded 10% from 2017. Maybe they'll upgrade to 30% come the trade deadline. But people might say, hey, that 10% ain't that bad. Maybe it was that 10% the Yankees needed to beat the Astros in the ALCS. And I agree, 10% doesn't mean that the Yankees are horrible. But when you have a team pieing a championship like the Boston Red Sox, you cannot sleep on the Red Sox. I know today was an exception. DD was out. Sanchez was out. But when you're replacing players like Drury with an Andahar, the difference isn't that much. The Yankees should be winning these ball games. I would agree that if the Yankees were playing poorly, if let's say a judge went down and Stanton went down and Sanchez went down long term, I would agree. I would say that injuries played a part in the Yankees start this season. But when your big three have not gone down, the big three that you depend on carrying your team, I know Didi has stepped up, then there's no excuse. When your bullpen is not performing, then there's no excuse. When you're starting rotation, which the Yankees had an opportunity to upgrade this offseason, when they're not performing, then there's no excuse. The Yankees should be taking these series. The Baltimore Orioles is kind of laughable. The Blue Jays is kind of laughable. We all thought the Yankees had a better ball club, and on paper they did. But when it comes down to it, the Yankees have a target behind their backs because they were hyped up to be the ultimate. Now teams want to beat the Yankees. And us as Yankees fans, we have to deal with that. We have to admit that the Yankees have a lot of hoes. We have to admit that the Yankees have room to improve. We can't have targets behind our backs knowing that the Yankees can still be beaten by teams. This has been happening since 2015. The Yankees have a tough time sweeping teams, and the Yankees have a tough time winning series. This is why in the LDS, when the Yankees took three games in a row from the Cleveland Indians, I was like, oh my God, they finally won three in a row. Where has this been in so many years? They have been doing that only twice or three times during the season. This is how you're going to know the Yankees are good or not if they win series and if they sweep teams on a consistent basis, if they go on hot streaks. Have you noticed even bad teams in Major League Baseball consistently or frequently sweep teams and the Yankees can't? This is the problem the Yankees have. They don't have that power pitcher. They don't have that other ace in the rotation like Severino to be a showstopper, to be that extra pitcher that shuts down a team and gives you a chance to win a series. This has been the Yankees' problem for a long time. We have been yelling and crying that out all offseason long. And I'm telling you guys, the Yankees go to Boston. If they don't win that series, if they get swept, if they only win one game out of three, then we got to stop saying it's still early in the season. Okay? Like I said a million times, I got bashed. I got 
crucified for it. I said the Red Sox have a better rotation, and if they go on a hot streak, you can't see the Yankees being 10 games back come the trade deadline. Okay, You can't sleep on those guys, man. They're buying a championship. So pay attention. What happens in Boston, in my opinion, is going to shape out how the Yankees play the rest of the season till the trade deadline. Let's say if the Yankees continue to lose series, then it's just a continuation of 2017, 2016, and 2015. Okay, This series is going to decide if the Yankees are the real deal or if they're subpar and need to make trades come the trade deadline. And in my opinion, they needed another ace. And in my opinion, they lost power at third base and second base. In my opinion, if Starling Castro is having an all-star type year, I would trade him back to the New York Yankees, in my honest opinion. And people might say, oh, it's just a bullpen. Trust me, when you have another ace on your rotation, it doesn't matter if your bullpen is subpar, garbage, or the best. When you add a pitcher like that to your rotation, it boosts the confidence of your ball club. They keep you in the game. You don't have to worry about, oh, we got to come back now. They keep you in the game. And like I said, a one-two punch can win you a lot of series, can get you those wins you are looking for. So Yankees fans, I know it's tough love, but if you have been following my channel for a long time now, you will know that my opinion does not change. I have been saying this for a very long time. It's not a surprise to me that the Yankees have started off like this and that the Red Sox are pretty much one of the hottest teams in Major League Baseball. People will say, oh, they just faced the Marlins, the Tampa Bay Rays, etc. But are you seeing them play? They are coming back from being down and they have a pesky lineup. Like I said, they're buying a championship. Quit sleeping on the Red Sox. Put the targets on them. Let other teams target them. Okay? So, again, I'm going to give harsh criticism. My opinion has never changed. I told you the Yankees are a wild card team. Until they don't improve, they are a wild card team. Until they don't upgrade via the trade deadline for an ace or another bat or whatever they need, they are a wild card team. I hope I'm wrong. But in my opinion, like I said, the Boston Red Sox are buying a championship. So the Boston Red Sox being in first place is expected. Understand what I'm saying? They are expected to win the AL East because they have the highest payroll in Major League Baseball. It doesn't mean that the Yankees suck. It doesn't mean that the Yankees are horrible. I am saying that they are expected to be in first place because they have a payroll over $200 million. It's over close to $220 million, okay? So it's the Boston Red Sox that should have the targets behind their backs, not the New York Yankees. You can see it in other teams. They want to come here and beat the Yankees. You can see it in other teams when the Yankees go and visit them that they want to beat the Yankees. The Yankees have the target on their backs. What I'm saying is it's the Red Sox that need to have a target on their backs, and they're the team to beat, really, in the AL East, and maybe in all of baseball next to the Astros, really. Stop sleeping on the Red Sox. This is the problem that we're having now. The The Red Sox were a sleeper, and now look look at the start they got off to. That was supposed to be the New York Yankees, but like I said, if it makes you feel better, they are buying a championship. They're supposed to be in first place. So, Yankees fans, I hope the Yankees turn it around, but like I said, this series in, in Boston is going to decide if the Yankees are a really good team or a support team. Or like I said, a continuation of last year's team where they couldn't win series. They barely won series. They won two out of three, one out of three. They barely swept teams. And if it happened, it was rare that it happened. So Yankees fans, I hate criticizing the Yankees like this, but it's tough love. The Yankees need to do better. And soon enough, that early in the season talk can't be used because we are moving towards let's say the middle of april and if the yankees keep struggling like this you have to raise the alarm why and again i'll go back to the fact that the red sox are trying to buy a championship you got that so the yankees have to play in a capacity where they are neck and neck with the red sox so let's see if it happens like always yankees fans this has been felix from mnynews.com share like and subscribe i will check you out